Hi guys, let's start a new exercise, exercise 24E. This is basically a revision exercise of whatever we've learned till now on mean, median, mode. So let's look at some questions. Question number one says, following distribution represent the height of 160 students of a school. Draw an ogive for the distribution, taking two centimeters equal to five centimeters on one axis. Oh, so they have already given the uh, uh, scale. So on x axis, they want me to take two centimeters is equal to five centimeters on five. So let me start with 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180. And this is my x axis. What have I plotted? I have plotted height in centimeter increasing this way. Perfect. And on the y axis, they want 2 centimeter to, is equal to 20 students. I have to go up to how many students? 160. Okay, so they want 20 students on one axis. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. This is my y axis. What will I plot here? I will plot cumulative frequency, which is number of students, because for any median calculation, we first need to calculate cumulative frequency. And on the uh, x axis, I started at 140, and then each 2 centimeter block was 5, but the first one is of 140, which means I'll put a kink. Next, I make the uh, cumulative frequency. This is 12, 32, 32 plus 30 is 62, 62 plus 38, 92, 100, 100 plus 24, 124, 124 plus 16, 140, this is 152, and this is 160. So summation of F is 180, sorry, not 180, 160. Number of uh, students is 160. Perfect. What do I have to plot? Uh, so the first one will start from the x axis. Uh, I hope you remember the 7. Uh, 140 with 0, 145 with 12, 150 with 32, 155 with 62, 160 with 100, 165 with 124, 170 with 140, 175 with 152, and 180 with 160. Perfect. So this is what I need to plot. So let's start. 140 with 0, 145 with 12. So these are 10 lines which is equal to 20, which means 6 lines will be equal to 12. So each small line is equal to 2. Uh, 150 with 32, which means 12 over 20, which means 6 small lines over 20. Next is 32, no sorry, next is 62. 155 with 62, which means one small line over 60. Next is 160 with 100, 165 with 124, which is two small lines above 120, 140, which is here. Next one is 152, which is 12 over 140, which means six small lines over 140. And the last one is 180. Next, I join all of them using a free hand. This will give me my ojai. Uh, this is done using free hand. Use your uh, okay. Perfect. Next, I should write my scale. I missed out writing the scale in my previous video, so uh, I should do it now. On x-axis, two centimeter is equal to five centimeter of height and on y axis I have 2 cm is equal to 20 student. Perfect. Next I need to find the median height. Now median in this case n is 160 so median height will be 160 upon 2th term which is the 80th term. So let's look at the 80th term. This is where 80th term is. I am using freehand because I do not have access to a scale on this software. 
my sincere request please use a scale for drawing this use a scale i started from the y axis or from 80 and i reached here good habit to write what this number is here so this is five lines after 150 exactly between 155 and 160 which means this is one two and a half more than 155 which is 157.5 so my median height is equal to 157.5 centimeter perfect the next part is interquartile range so for interquartile range basically it is q3 minus q1 let me calculate q3 q3 is basically 3 into n upon 4 which is 3 into 160 upon fourth term this is 440 so we are looking at 120th term so let's look at 120th term i put a horizontal line to the ogive you will use a scale i think this is two lines before yeah i think it's two lines before 165 so that's my q3 perfect so what value will this be can i write here let's check so 10 lines is equal to 10 small lines is equal to 5 units so how many lines do we have 8 lines so 8 lines will be equal to 8 into 5 upon 10 that's 4 so which is 4 units above 160 which means this is 164 perfect so this is 164 centimeter perfect lower quartile will be n upon fourth term which is equal to 40th term 160 upon 4 40th term so again let me draw a line from oh i did not i started from 120 so i put an arrow here and i reached the x-axis so i re, put an arrow reaching x-axis next i start from 40 i reach uh, the ogive and then i drop a perpendicular right so i think this is the third line right so similarly 10 lines is equal to 5 which means 3 lines will be equal to 3 into 5 upon 10 which is 1.5 over 150 which means this is 151.5 centimeter so i should write it here 151.5 i started from ojive here or from y axis and i reached x so this is 151.5 so my interquartile range will be 164 minus 151.5 which is 162 12.5 this is equal to 12.5 centimeter yes this is equal to 12.5 centimeter next number of students whose height is more than 172 so where is 172 centimeter here four lines above 170 is where 172 is so from here i draw a perpendicular onto the ojai right so this is four lines here it will be here right? so fourth line 172 again you will use a scale for drawing this this software does not give me access to a scale that's why i am drawing using freehand you will draw using a scale i started from x axis so i put an arrow now you understand why it's important to put an arrow when you start from y axis and reach here you are reading this value when you are starting from x axis and reach y you are reading obviously the y value and this to me is the one two three third line here so one two three this is the third line third small line above 140 perfect so i reached here so uh, which means this is third small line above 140 so on the y-axis i have 10 lines equal to 20 students so three lines will be equal to 
थ्री ए टू ट्वेंटी अपॉन टेन विच इज सिक्स स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज दिस नंबर इज वन फोर्टी सिक्स सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट अब वन सेवेंटी टू इज इट वन फोर्टी सिक्स और इज इट वन सिक्सटी माइनस वन फोर्टी सिक्स यू चेक repeating check so these people like we said this is a less than ho jaye so all these people which is 146 are less than 172 the question is number of students whose height is above 172 so this will be equal to the total number of students minus what we've got which is equal to 14 students perfect i hope you will we'll do many such questions like this where you need to understand and uh uh first draw an ojai and read the ojai to find answers thank you i'll see you in the next video bye bye